Hello, Lola. So welcome back to my channel, guys. You better hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Girl, what? Click the like button. Click the bell to be a part of all notifications. And make sure you guys are following me on my new business page on Facebook. It's Miss Serenity Smith. That's where I'll be posting babies that's available for sale. And also sharing my personal collection as well in some of my previous work. So you can kind of just kind of see a little bit of things that I've done in the past and things that I'm doing now. Um, so follow me there. Follow me also on Instagram. My Instagram is Miss Serenity Smith Babies. And other than that, the only other place where I post my babies for sale and usually one of the first places and kind of let people know what's going on behind the scenes, what's coming up, is my paid channel membership, which is called The Chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. But today I'm doing a review, kit review, kind of. I've already had this baby before, but something is different about this one. Oh. Something is different. I'm gonna tell you guys in a minute. But he is the Kent Sculpt by Claire Teller. And I didn't even check for his COA. He is an open edition. She said as long as the mold is good or whatever. So that's how his COA looks. And it's just, it's not numbered. It just is there. All right. So you guys may have known me to have a baby named Zenday for a short period of time, which was also the kid's sculpt. Um, I painted Zenday and I sold Zenday. I decided I wanted something. Uh, I wanted to do a different skin tone um, of this kit. And so I decided to go ahead and sell my beloved precious Zenday. So I, this baby will be called, will be named Zenday as well. This is for my personal collection, but I'm just sharing it in case you guys are getting a kit. And a lot of times people like to see on video what the kit looks like and from a collector's perspective. Although I paint, I'm a collector first. So let me do what I do. All right, so Kent is, ooh. I think 19 and a half, 20, wait, oh gosh, I don't know. Don't get me with the specs or whatever. But anyway, he he's he's a very freshly newborn baby, okay? So we're going to start with his face and all. So he is a sleeper, of course, and these are his ears, very detailed. Um, he has a open mouth. His tongue is movable inside. Um, this baby does have a drinking wet. I did opt the drinking wet for this one. Um, he has a little bit of gums. And you really can't see the drinking wet in him, but it's there. And I have checked it to make sure it works. Um, and it works. <laughs> Um, he has open hand here. All his fingers are separate. And then he has a fisted hand, which is not just bald and fisted, but has, like, nice little position there. He is, of course, the super soft silicone. Um, he is... He has the little umbilical stump there. And he has his he's anatomically correct, so he does have boy bits, which we're gonna try not to show here. Um, he does have elbow armatures. I did not get the full armature, which means the difference in the elbow armature and the full armature is the elbow armature is just in here. Okay, the full armature will go from his shoulder down to his wrist, and I would be able to, you know, do all that and I guess you should be able to really pose the arm even different, but I, I really love the elbow armature because it allows him to still be very floppy as well. Um, he does, let's see what else. 
So, like I said, he's a very newborny size baby. And you can see his little area is very petite. <laughs> Cover up. <laughs> his toes, his big toe is separate. The other ones are together. Same on this foot. Big toe is separate. Other ones are together. He has, oh, sorry. He has a um, really nice to find ankle bone. I love his feet because they are a good size. Not too, not too, too uh, small where he can't fit shoes and stuff. So the difference in this one and my other one is I asked Claire would she please give him some armatures in his legs. Um, he's he's very petite in his legs and stuff and I just, you know, I'm so in love with my Nori and how I'm able to really like pose her with her armatures and stuff like that. And certain babies, like I don't want, I didn't want them in my willow and I love that Willow does not have them. But with this baby, because he's pretty, you know, thin, I like them because I can keep him in, you know, where I could ball his, you know, scrunch his little legs up. And I think that's really cute. And so, yeah. So he's he has a full armature in his legs. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. He doesn't, well, he doesn't have it in the hip area. So, um, which is fine. Um... If he had them in his hip area, he would be able to like really like push up and hold up. But all I care for is that the legs don't have to be uh, like straight. I mean, you could do that without the armature too. Um, all right, so we're gonna flip him over. He has the most perfect head shape ever. Um, Claire is definitely great at head shapes of her babies. Love that. <laughs> oh my god, I love this boy. Um, so, he has a cute little tush. Love me a cute baby tush. Perfect little tushy tushy. And that's his little feet and his little legs. So, of course, you know I always do this with my babies. Um, and that's push them up. A lot of people, and I talk about this a lot, I like to say this a lot, a lot of people are afraid of armatures and stuff, and they're like, oh my god, oh my god. I think when armatures are, are installed the right way, um, they're perfectly fine, and they're like really nice to have. Just my opinion. It's my personal taste. Um, I love babies. I like to have a variety. I like having babies without them. And I like having babies with them. Because sometimes I do just want the dangle. I just want my babies to be just super floppy. And I can do all types of poses with them. Because they don't have an armature. There's no limit. There's no stiffness. And stuff like that. He has to get a bath. So if you see little stuff on him. Um, a lot of people don't understand that when you get kits. Um, you have to really clean them. And... Um, and that's just silicone, like loose silicone that's on him. And, um, you know, little things you might have, you know, where the, when they come out the molds, a lot of times they don't come out perfect. And sometimes, you know, it's some seaming that has to be done and stuff like that. And, you know, you, you know, or when they install the armatures and stuff like that and you you kind of fix that as a painter as you go. So, ooh. So let's let's see. Let me see if I can show you guys. He's very flexible, as you can see. Like he's flexible. Um, he has a beautiful neck. Um, he has a very beautiful neck. Um, his I love the way his neck is. Like when I painted Zen, the first Zen day and he would be in a car seat, his little, the way his neck looked, it was, it's like so realistic, so beautiful. I love it. Um, 
So he's, he's very beautifully sculpted and I'm excited. I can't wait to paint him. Um, say we were waiting for this man to come. Yes. So, yeah. Ooh, these little dainty little fingers. They're so cute. All right. So, let me see. Nail beds. He has decent nail beds. Um, but my main thing about him is I just absolutely love his old face and I love his feet and he's a nice size. So there's that. Um, his stomach, like his, his, his silicone is, is still squishy, very, you know, soft and squishy. Um, he's not a marshmallow soft or anything like that, but he is super soft. It's very easy to super soft. So anyway, but yeah, so that's my baby. This is my personal baby. He is not coming up for sale, guys. This is one that will be in my forever collection. He is a sentimental sculpt for me, and I will be placing him on hold until I finish my prototypes for me to paint for myself. I also have another kit that I'm working on that's for my personal collection to keep as well, but I have not got any color on that baby, to be honest. Um, because I've had to work on uh, other jobs. So um, that is it. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing him. I'm trying to think that I show everything else. It's his head turned from side to side easily with no problem. What's that? Head to one side, side. Mm. Does it look like it's a, like a little like he got a vein or something <laughs> there I'm like what's that <laughs> but um Okay. Well, anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.